So the first thing we all look at is our finances. And the basics are this. This is kind of a question. Number one, do you have a budget? Number two, what are the ratios of the different categories that you're spending? For example, rent or mortgage and utilities and insurance, the rule of thumb is no more than 25% of your total gross income should go towards housing. What we're finding, and with my kids, is that housing costs are very high and they're stretched to the max. You know, I, I did a budget for my daughter and her husband and we looked at that where they're at, they have no margin for anything to go wrong. An air conditioner goes wrong. The baby needs to go to the doctor, any of that. And that's a precarious situation that a lot of people are finding themselves in. And those ratios are there for a reason. You have to have margin to buffer unexpected costs. So in addition to that, one of the things I've done recently is I've gone through all of my subscriptions and you would be surprised and how many subscriptions you have that you don't, you're not aware of. Little apps that you have. I just canceled today a subscription to Lucidly. Lucidly is an app that lets you get summaries of books and it's a great app, but I'm finding I'm really not taking advantage of it in between Kindle and YouTube and podcasts. I've got all the free stuff that I can keep up with. So that's $99 I don't have to spend a year. When I went through this, and now I'm also a small business as well, and so businesses need to go through all their licenses and subscriptions and see which ones they're really using. One of the things I discovered, I had three subscriptions to Adobe, duplicate subscriptions that I didn't even realize. I was able to cut out close to eight to $900 a month of licenses and subscriptions. Now, part of that is my business side, but that's a hidden cost thing that can give you a boost immediately.